Hi guys, Jim here. Uh, I started working on my axe to reprofile the cheek part of the axe and uh, it started to come out pretty good so I decided to shoot a video before I finished it so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Now this, my axe here is a Wetterlings and the difference between a Wetterlings and a Gransford Brooks is a Wetterlings has it's a higher rock weld hardness. The Grandfords is a little bit softer. Uh, the Grandfords is a uh, narrower grind where the Wetterlings has a little bit higher of a cheek. So I wanted to get file this cheek down a little bit so that the axe head would bite more into the wood. So I'm just playing around. I got my files and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. I got a vise here that I put my axe in. Okay. Now before you guys freak out on the axe is uh, foam tape. Quarter inch foam tape so I'm not really hurting the handle. And I'm not I'm not really uh, getting that real tight. Just tight enough where I can work on the head here. Okay. Uh, whenever I work on knives I like to use a pen and I will mark, I'll draw on the whole edge here. That way as I'm shaping and filing I can see where I'm actually removing uh, material. Alright so I got a file, a brand new file for this job. It's a bastard cut that it's going to remove the most material. And I'm just taking off, I'm not taking off any of the edge. I'm taking off this cheek here, which is this section. Okay? And I'm just taking off, not a lot, just a little bit. And I want to start off slowly to see where I'm taking off. Alright? And once I get the feel of the angle that I need, then I can start taking off material. Now again, I'm not taking off a lot of material. I'm just trying to make this cheek a little bit flatter so that the axe head bites more into the, uh, the wood. Now when, when you're working on axe heads, it's very important to have a handle. And uh, I know you, I didn't do it in the video, but it's important to hold the file back here because it's real easy to slip and cut your hand open. And I've actually done that to myself before. So I'll show you what it looks like right now. You can see I'm just taking off this material right here. I'm not touching the edge at all. And that's making this cheek part flatter. That's all I'm doing. I'm not brief profiling it really. I'm just taking off little bits of metal material just to make this a little bit flatter. So when I get it to down to where I want it, and then I got to switch to another uh, file.
Okay, I'm all done. I went down all the grits, all the way down to polish. It's nice and polished here, but you still have, you know, that spur, that ribbon, whatever you want to call it. I call it a ribbon, uh, but you can, I can feel it right here. So now, with the belt, the leather belt, just drop. So as you do one side or the other, as you strop this side and then you strop that side, what you're doing is you're bending that ribbon back and forth, back and forth until it breaks off. that a couple times. Flip it over again and do the other side. Flip it again. As you keep flipping it, and touching the uh, ribbon, or spur, or burr, whatever you want to call it. I call it a ribbon, like I said. But you can feel it when it's no longer there. There we go guys, it's not perfect, it's not pretty, but it's a usable axe. Alright guys, I'm all set, I'm all done. Uh, right now it's uh, 7 o'clock almost at night, so tomorrow morning I'll go outside and chop up some wood and uh, see the difference. You know, I know what some of you guys are going to say, oh that's axe blast for me, but you know, it's my axe, I'll do what the hell I want to do with my own axe. I like playing with stuff to see if I can improve it. You know, I've read a lot about, I've read a lot of uh, articles from old timers that talk about axes. And uh, some of them don't like Grantsfords because they think it's too soft. Um, uh, and a lot of them like Wetterlings. But they say you have to regrind wetlands 
grind that cheek down a little bit and it'll be a great axe. So that's what I did and tomorrow I'll go chop up some wood and hopefully I like it better. I'm sure I will. So that's my axe. I just thought I'd share it, what I did to it with you guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching.